Hey, this is Tommy Ricard, Artist Relations Manager for Kickboard International, here today to talk about the five easy steps to install your kickboard. To install the kickboard, these are the things you're going to need. An X-Acto knife, or any utility knife of your choice, a Sharpie, uh, the T-ring, which comes in the box, um, the instruction manual, which also comes in the box, and of course the kickboard. So the first step for installing the kick port is the wiping down of the drum head, just kind of get rid of any smudges or debris or any kind of residue around the area where you're going to install the kick port. Next step is to install a template reinforcement ring, which we call the T-ring. Remove the backer. We recommend that you install it halfway between the center of the bass drum and the bass drum hoop. Um, I generally put it around four o'clock. So place on the drum head. Put your finger around there, and it adheres itself to the bass drum head. Next, we cut the hole in the bass drum. Start a little bit off center there, so I give myself some uh, space to work. We're now ready to install the kick port. So right where the flare label is, fold back this section of the collar. Place the folded back section inside the drum. Work the tube in. It's okay if it scrapes the top a little bit. And then work the collar in. You want to make sure you work it completely through the hole. And there it is. Now we're ready to flip the collar back so it holds tightly against the drum head. You want to reach through the hole with a pen or a screwdriver or a sharpie or maybe even a drumstick like this. Feel around and it, you're going to hear it snap against the head like that. And if it's tight, you're installed.